Health Watch tonight. The spring semester began today at Cabrillo Community College, and students, faculty, and staff will now have to comply with a smoking ban that went into effect. The college has posted no smoking and tobacco signs all over campus. The ban officially went into effect January 1st and includes the Aptos and Watsonville campuses. Violators will get a warning first time around. Then if it was repeat offenses, we would probably uh, recommend disciplinary action for the students. But because this ruling is new and people are still getting used to it, we're really encouraging um, smokers who really feel that they need to smoke on campus to try to go through the smoking cessation programs that are offered through our student health services. Smoking ban also includes uh, e-cigarettes. California Senator Mark Leno has introduced new legislation to regulate electronic cigarettes. Senate Bill 140 would define e-cigarettes as tobacco products, and that would make they would then fall under the state's existing smoke-free laws. The bill is co-sponsored by a coalition of national health organizations, including the American Cancer Society, Amer Cancer Action Network, American Heart Association, and the American Lung Association. SB 140 will be heard in policy committees in the Senate this spring. Knob Hill Grocery Store in Hollister is set to pull tobacco products from its store shelves. In fact, many of the stores will, are expected to follow suit. Raley's is the parent company of Knob Hill and announced in November it plans to remove tobacco products from all of its stores in February. The company is following other major retailers, particularly those with pharmacies, to stop tobacco sales. We don't have an exact date just yet.